Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to solve the numerical uh, 2-57 uh, which belongs to the 12th tradition of R. C. Hibbler. So the numerical states that uh, determine the magnitude of force F so that uh, the resultant force of the three forces is as small as possible. What is the magnitude of this smallest resultant force? Okay. So here we have three forces. Uh, he is saying that you need to calculate the magnitude of this force F and also you also need to calculate uh, the resultant of the three forces and that resultant must be as small as possible in comparison to the three forces. So one force is 8 kN, other is F kN and it is making an angle of 45 degrees and other another force of 14 kN is making an angle of 30 degrees. No axes are defined. We assume that uh, this is our x-axis and we assume this is our y-axis. Okay. So, this force 8 kN is acting along the positive x-axis. This force F kN making 45 degrees will have these components. This component will be acting along negative y and this component will be acting F cos 45 will be acting along the negative x and F sin 45 will be acting along the negative y axis. This 14 kN force could be resolved as 14 cos 30 but towards the negative x axis so it will be negative and this 14 sin 30 will be acting towards the positive y axis. Okay. So now what we do is that we resolve uh, these forces along the x axis and sum them. Okay. So, summation of all the forces about x axis could be given as uh, minus f cos 45. Okay. So, uh, this is our component minus f cos 45. Then, this is plus 8 kN is this component. And then again, 14 cos 30 is this component with a negative sign since it is acting on the negative x axis. So, if we sum these forces, simplify this equation, we get it as minus f cos, cos 45 minus 4.12. This is our equation 1. Then we sum all the forces along the y axis. So, as we sum all the forces along the y axis, uh, this will be our 14 sin 30, which will be on towards the positive y, and this f sin 45 is towards the negative y axis, so minus f sin 45. So, we can also simplify this uh, for these forces along the y axis, which makes it as minus f sin 45 plus 7. Our 14 into sin 30 will give you plus 7. So, now we have got FRY and we have also got FRX. So, we can calculate the resultant of these three forces as with the using the equation FR square is equals to FRX square plus FRY ka whole square. So, for in this FRX ka whole square, uh, uh, we can put uh, the value of this equation 1 FRX over here and in place of this FRY, we can put this value which is over here. And again, this is basically Again, uh, FR square equals to minus F cos 45 minus 4.12 the whole square plus 7 minus F sin 45 the whole square. But he is asking in the question that uh, the resultant force of the three forces must be as small as possible. So, in order to be as small as possible, we can basically differentiate this FR with respect to F. Okay. So, if we differentiate uh, this FR whole square with respect to F, we get dy by dF of FR whole square equals to d by dF of this whole equation number 3. Okay. So, when we differentiate it, we get it as uh, and differentiate it, we get it as 2 FR d by dF of FR equals to and this function will be uh, 2 times of minus f cos 45 minus 4.12 and again this 4.12 will be a constant becomes 0 but when we differentiate here by d by df of f it becomes minus cos 45 ok. So, this is a uh, remember cos 45 is a constant then we differentiate this function. So, we get uh, 2 times of 7 minus f sin 45 and again d by df of this function will be minus sin 45. So, this becomes our equation number 4. Okay. But he says in the question if you look at it uh, the resultant forces of the three forces is as small as possible. So, for being as small as possible we can basically for a minimum value the left hand side of equation 4 becomes 0. So, this becomes 0. So, if you look at it uh, as it becomes 0 this is our whole equation and you can see this whole equation is now in F. We can just simplify it and we will get the value of f equals to 2.03 kN. So, once this has been done with this, this value of f equals to 2.03 kN can easily be put into equation number 3. 
this is our equation number 3 we can put it over here so as we can put it over here you can see uh, you can see that uh, fr the whole square equals to uh, minus f so we write minus 2.03 cos 45 minus 4.12 the whole square plus 7 minus again we put the value of f times of sine 45 and the whole square okay so if you look at it this whole equation is now in the form of uh, the only unknown variable here is fr the whole square so if we simplify it we will be getting it at, at this fr the whole square equals to 61.82 now but we want fr so we can simply uh, take square root on both sides and we will get the value of fr equals to 7.863 kilonewton okay thank you very much and i hope you have a good day